161st contact. Friday, February 12, 1982, 1.20 p.m. Billy says I've called you because I would like to have some specific information from you. It concerns my health. Quetzal says are you joking? Billy says no. Quetzal says you usually don't like to talk about these things. Billy says there is probably no other choice left for me. Recently, I had to go to the doctor, and since then, I have to fill up every other day with an injection. Then, in about a week, I must also let radiotherapy with microwaves go through me. And as the doctor says, the whole thing looks bad. Quetzal says then he said nothing new. Maybe now you will be more reasonable. However, I will make another diagnosis and treat you. Billy says that might not be appropriate as two doctors spoil the broth. On the other hand, I think that even you can't do more than my doctor. As he says, the suffering relates to wear and tear, that is, to aging. Quetzal says then you've consulted the doctor because of your knees. Billy says exactly. Quetzal says then I must leave the treatment to him, that will surely be the best. Billy says I know. Even you can't fix wear and tear, not more than relieving the pain and such. Quetzal says I will still make a diagnosis and apply an appropriate treatment for recovery, if it promises success. But for this, I must first make the diagnosis. Billy says you can do this afterward, if it won't take too long. Quetzal says then you still have questions? Billy says I have those, yes. Quetzal says I also still have to inform you about something, in addition, I can perform my investigation on you only in the way that my apparatuses transmit all of the information into the station, after which I can then retrieve it there and work it out. Only then can I give you more detailed information about that. This, however, will still take a few days, as I am otherwise still very busy with urgent tasks. Billy says very well, then I would now like to ask you about the book of names. Isn't it possible that you can transmit the introductory information to me sooner than planned? Quetzal says unfortunately, that can't be done, for Electra is too busy with all her duties for her to be able to do that now. Billy says oh, I thought that you would give me this information. Quetzal says no, that will be her task. Billy says basically. It doesn't matter who transmits this to me. The main thing is that I don't have to put everything together myself. Quetzal says that is of correctness. What does your next question relate to? Billy says that's it, actually. My main concern was regarding my health, because of the health damage. Quetzal says then I come to the word I have to tell you something about Ferdinand unfortunately. It aroused with him that his efforts were only initial, but these already left much to be desired very soon. I am still not quite clear to myself as to whether everything intended can still be fulfilled, for as I noted, something aroused that will probably doom everything to failure, which we have, indeed, also feared. In particular, his jealousy seems to let him commit an act that makes that which is intended impossible. Up to now, however, I'm still not quite sure about him, which is why I still can't give any specific information about that in a definitive form. Nevertheless, I will explain the matter to you, so that you can already prepare yourself for it if necessary. But before I can explain further details about this to you, I still have to give my observations and analyses, which still continue until the end of the month. But at any rate, it is certain that Ferdinand doesn't hold to the rules remitted by me and that his initial and curious enthusiasm has dwindled away. Billy says how should I understand all that? Quetzal says I told you, nevertheless, that I will give you information about that at a later date once I'm sure of my case. But I will already be able to explain something definitively to you next week. Billy says it's all simply Greek to me. Quetzal says it also wasn't your task to control the events and actions around Ferdinand. This falls into my area of responsibility. Nevertheless, 
What should still be said to you is that he has failed to comply with my arrangements, and this can be a sufficient reason for us to discontinue our attempts of a change to the right. Ingrid also contributes all sorts of errors to this, for in various aspects, she still leads Ferdinand to act against our determinations, by occupying him with tasks that fall within her exclusive work area. Billy says it's all still Greek to me. Quetzal says I will give you the relevant and necessary explanations next week. For today, it will only be said to you that you must see to it that Ferdinand still performs a whole night watch this weekend. That is to say that this task should be laid on him because I want to inspect whether he is now willing to do this task. On my side, I've noticed that he is not willingly obliged to this task and that he keeps himself away from it with excuses at every opportunity. If he now makes such attempt again, then in this regard, I must give him specific and hard requirements, which he must then observe without exception. Billy says you good, for if I now have to repeat this, then he will simply act in accordance with your words, whereby your inspection goes into the water. Quetzal says you shouldn't speak of this yet, just arrange it that Ferdinand is requested to the night watch. Billy says good, then there's still another issue, because of the building that Ferdinand wants to lease near our Swiss border. I want to drive over there on Sunday with Ferdinand, in order to visit the building. Quetzal says that won't be necessary. He should take the premises and the land in Leon, whereby he and his family will be housed for the time being. After that, the final solution will result in the course of time. Regarding the cleaning of the fief, I will give the necessary steps in due time, as well as later for the final solution, if that which is intended can still be fulfilled in part. Billy says man, you have hopes. You seem to have made rather bad findings in the case of Ferdinand and Ingrid. Quetzal says unfortunately yes, and even worse ones, if the rest proves to be true. Billy says then I see the hopes sinking already. Quetzal says you must prepare yourself for that. Presumably, it is of necessity. We must then simply find a way, as especially Ferdinand can still be helped. Billy says I've thought something like that to myself from the outset, even though Ingrid was constantly of the opinion that he wouldn't be like that. I've always imagined myself capable of knowing and estimating human beings rather well. And unfortunately, my findings weren't very good in terms of the fulfillment of this difficult task. Quetzal says with which you may have drawn truthful conclusions. That's how it looks, anyhow. Billy says then cheers. Vindictiveness can bring lots of evil again. Quetzal says unfortunately, you must count on it. Billy says that can backfire. Quetzal says unfortunately, but let's leave this subject for now. My time is now very limited, and I would still like to diagnose your suffering. Billy says first, one more thing since last June, I have all sorts of uncomfortable feelings with respect to the construction of the necessary premises. These have now increased to such an extent that I no longer even come to ask you to clarify whether we can still let ourselves conduct this business. Quetzal says in regards to this, I will perform a look into the future in order to get to the bottom of things with certainty. On next Friday, I will tell you the results. But now, to the diagnosis of your suffering. Billy says then go ahead. The End